Hey guys, Noblar here. Just another update video for the uh, Phantom, uh, sorry, the Revenant Titan build project that I've been showing you guys over the past couple of videos. Um, in this one, I'm going to kind of go into a bit of detail about how I've magnetised um, some pieces. So you've seen in previous videos that I've put magnets on the waist so that the the torso will clip onto it. Um, and I actually want to, rather than just saying I've magnetised the, the join or the pieces, I want to actually show you what that means and and what it enables you to do. So, um, in this one, I want to be, because the, the Revenant comes with two head options, ta-da, I'm going to be magnetising those. So, basically, instead of sticking, gluing them on, and them never being able to move or twist and look to either side, and I'm only going to be able to use one of them, what I'm going to do, uh, and what I've kind of already started to do, is I'm going to magnetise the join. So, you can see that it's... It's a ball on the bottom of the head that goes into whoop, a socket in the neck. So the visor comes off the head, but I don't need that for this project. And you can see the pilot sat inside. Some quite nice detail as well there is. Um, so what I need to do really is put a magnet, drill a hole, put a magnet in that hole and glue it in place. And then on the other piece, which I've already done, drill a hole into the neck, put a magnet in the neck, glue it in, and then the only real trick or thing you need to get right in this is one, make sure, well there's two, make sure you glue the magnet in place or otherwise when you pull them apart the magnets will just come out. The But the real trick is, and it's not hard, is just making sure before you glue the magnet in place that they're going to attract each other and not repel. And that, that all that is is making sure the magnets are the right way round really. So in this one I'll just describe what I've done and then I will go and show you how I did it on the bottom of the neck, the head. So all I've got is my trusty Dremel rotary tool attachment which is there, it's on a it's on a towel just to keep the noise down a little bit and pad pad the vibrations and soften them out. Um, and that comes through a hose into a drill and it's just a kind of standard drill size. It's too smaller than that size magnet, so I had to drill a hole and then kind of wiggle the drill bit around to make the hole bigger. And then I just went deep enough so that it would uh, the magnet would sink in below, kind of just below the line of the the socket, so that the magnet's not sticking out from the from the model. And then I glued it in. Um, now, basically, for the first magnet, you don't really have to worry which way around it goes in. You just glue it in, and then it's the second one you kind of align to it. You make sure the second one lines up with that one. So just the first one, don't worry about it. Just glue it in place and make sure you're happy with where it is. That's pretty much bang in the centre of the neck, so I'm happy with that. Job done. So now, I'll put that to one side at the back, and I'm, I'm basically just going to kind of move on to drilling a hole in the bottom of the head and putting a magnet in. Now because the head is quite small, it's quite light, um, I've got a big magnet in there, that's going to do all the work, that's going to provide all the pulling power. Um, I'm going to put a slightly smaller magnet, in fact quite a lot smaller magnet, in the bottom of the head, just so that it's less work, it's a cheaper magnet, I don't have to spend as much money, they're more expensive than these ones, um, so I can use a cheaper magnet and still get the same job done. And I don't have to drill as big a hole. So um, now there is a bit of a trick in how you uh, how you might want to align the holes. Sometimes you can put um, a piece of metal in and, and have it score a hole. Sometimes you can put a dot of paint on or a marker and press the piece in. Um, I'm not really that bothered here, um, but there you see, I'm just using a, a tip pen. I've just put a dot on the metal and quickly press down at kind of roughly the angle I want the head to be and it's just it's come back with that's where my magnet needs to be in the bottom of the head. So I'll put the, the, the marker pen away, get the drill out and just one thing we need to do, the hole obviously needs to be the right size to accept a magnet. So. Um, just checking, the drill bit there looks to be about as wide as the magnets, so I don't really need to do that much wiggling to make the hole bigger. Um, 
which is a good thing. So, I've got my drill. I've got the mark where I want to be drilling. Um, so let's let's crack on. So turn the drill on. Have the drill be on a quite a slow speed setting. It doesn't have to be that fast. You can always turn it up faster if you need to be. But better to start off slow than to start off too fast. So I'm just going to take some time because once you start drilling, you can't undrill the hole. So make sure you're happy with the angles the things are going in at. That you found the hole, the the kind of the dot that we're aiming for, and just slowly start a hole. Hold it steady. The first bit's always the trickiest, whilst it gets gets to grips. And again, just take time every so often, clean the join, come back, see what you were looking at. In this one, I will just wiggle the drill a bit. And I think that'll be big enough. Job done, nothing to it. Just make sure you're happy using the drill. Clean everything up. Make sure you hoover or dust up later or else whoever you live with won't be very happy. And um, Now you just need to check that the magnets will fit. Um, and actually that won't, so I do need to come back and make that hole a little bit bigger. So same again, just take the drill. And wiggle it around from side to side. Don't worry if you make the hole too big, because you can always come back with some green stuff and fill it in. So, job done. So that 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 magnet fits in now. You can see if I move my arm, it goes in and sits flush with the plastic. So now is the trick where we find out which way in these magnets need to go. So they're all facing in the same direction because they're all attracted to each other. So let's let's assume positive is this side, negative is this side, and that's true for all of them. So that's the side which attracts. So that's the side that needs to that's the side we don't want to glue in to the head because that's the bit that attracts to the other magnet. So it's that side we want to glue in to the join. So I'll leave that there. Take a bit of glue. Put it in the, the join. Slide the magnet in. Slide the others off to one side. Christ. Did I get that right? I don't know. I think that went in okay. It's a bit of a pain as you can see. Oh Christ. There's always a tricky bit. Glue it in, slide it off. There we go. Can be a bit fiddly sometimes with the small magnets, but once you've done it a couple of times, you'll get the hang of it. So you can see there there's a there's a magnet reasonably flush with the bottom of the head. Sometimes if you want if you want to be sure the, the hole's not too much bigger than the magnet. So I'll just use a bit of super glue, filler glue to fill that hole. Again, take my tissue and just dab off any excess. So I don't want any leftover glue to glue the head to the neck. Yep, that's, that's not that sticky anymore, that's fine. And then now, we'll come back. And voila! The head sticks to the neck, and you can twist it round. Kind of does always want to come back to a safe. If you twist it too far, it'll snap back a little bit. But yeah, job done. One magnetised head. Like I say, the trick is just making sure the magnets are the right, right way round and you drill the hole in the right place. Other than that, happy days. So I hope that's been useful to you guys on how you magnetise a join. Um, take a look back at my other videos to see how I'm getting on. Cheers!